as an expert in the SAT, this is an amazing question. It is so well done. It takes advantage of the SAT format. I mean, it's unbelievable. This is, this is a textbook example of why people who are good at tests in school have trouble doing well in the SAT. It's because the tricks that you use in school to get good grades are not going to always work here. The SAT is operating by different rules, and if you don't know those rules, you're in trouble. Now, you can figure them out by practicing, but in this case, this isn't even like a you need to practice and learn the SATs, tips and tricks kind of situation. This is a don't be lazy situation. This is something you should have just known, but you didn't, and you got it wrong and lost points for no good reason. So what do we have to do here? We need to make sure that we always follow the number one rule of the grammar section, which is if you have to read something, you have to read it all. You can't cut corners. So if you have to read a paragraph because they tell you, you have to do it. If you have to read a sentence because they tell you, do it. You have to follow instructions. Now notice this question does not have specific instructions. So the implied rule is read the full sentence because we know that this is probably testing either grammar or style. And because these tenses look different, right? It's probably grammar. And we should know that the SAT in all the sections, math, reading, writing, in all the sections, the SAT designs questions to take advantage of people who are lazy. If you were lazy here, you probably picked A because look, it sounds fine. Specifically, they investigated the combustion of biofuel droplets. Sounds totally fine. We can even read a little bit more. Specifically, they investigated the combustion of biofuel droplets and microgravity for twice as long as could be accomplished. Now, the problem is that this big gap here on your test is actually a page break. So most people stop reading here because they're too lazy to turn the page. But there's no period. This sentence goes on. We need to read the full thing, not just because they, they are tricking us here, but in any case we need to do this. They always could be tricking us, so we always need to make sure we're getting the full picture. The SAT absolutely designed this question to catch people who don't turn the page. It's not a coincidence. It happened on purpose. You have to know that they're going to do this on purpose and you prepare for it by just not cutting the corner. It takes another three seconds to go on to the next page. It's worth it. It saves you 10 points. You don't need to lose. Because look, if we know this is testing tense and we know then that means that we need to think about symmetry, right? It's not just that one tense will be right because it sounds right. It will match something else in the sentence, something else that we can point to. If we're just reading what we were given here, we're not pointing to anything. We're just listening to what sounds good. We want to point. So let's keep going. Specifically, they investigated the combustion of biofuel droplets in microgravity for twice as long as could be accomplished in drop towers and to perform tests with larger droplets. Sounds bad. It sounds bad because we're listing two things and they're not in sync. They're out of symmetry. They, in this case the students, did two things. They investigated the combustion of biofuel droplets and performed tests with larger droplets, but it doesn't say perform, does it? It says to perform, so that one can't change. It's the investigated that has to change. I've got to match this to this because those two things, one and two, need to be in symmetry. It's a list. It's a list of two, but it's still a list. And with symmetry, we've got to match. So I need a two investigate choice. And there's only one. And it's the right answer. Now, yeah, there's some stuff before it, but let's, let's read it. And let, let me cut out some of the stuff. Let's really get to the, the heart of this sentence. They blank the combustion of biofuel droplets and to perform the test with larger droplets. So that's, that's kind of like a shorter version of the sentence. So they... They were able to investigate the combustion of biofuel droplets and to perform tests with larger droplets. Let me cut it down even further. They were able to investigate and to perform. Two things. They were able to investigate and to perform. 
perfect symmetry? Obvious answer. And I think most people get this if they turn the page. I think it becomes a little clearer that something is wrong with the initial sentence. And then it gets you thinking and you start to look for different things. And yeah, it's a little bit of a process to find the right answer, but I think the reason people don't even bother trying to find it is because they never finish the sentence and they never hear the problem. So you just are going by these like six words around the underlying portion and you think that's all there is to it. I would say 85% of the time you'd be right. And if you just cut that corner and read that little piece, you'd be fine and you'd get the right answer anyway. But if you're looking for a good score, 85% isn't good enough because that other 15% is specifically designed to take advantage of your laziness and to use it against you. And yeah, you deserve to lose those points. That's just not the SAT being mean. That's you being lazy. You deserve to lose those points. This is a totally preventable error. Hopefully, if you made it, you are listening to my rant here and you get the point. Don't cut a corner. If you have to read a sentence, the instruction is clear. If you don't have a question, the instruction is clear, I should say. Follow the instruction and read the full sentence every time it's a grammar or a style question. Always. You never know if they're going to try to pull this stuff, so you have to act like they're pulling it every single time. Shouldn't have gotten it wrong. Laziness got you. It'll get you again. Hopefully, some of you will actually learn the lesson and be thorough and save those points in the future.